to most Americans, a paella, paella means rice with seafood and chicken and sausage. But in fact, in Spain, there are dozens, perhaps hundreds of different varieties of paella. So the notion of a meatless paella would not seem so strange. Paella belongs to a family of great rice dishes that includes jambalaya and risotto. But as far as I know, paella is the only rice dish that's traditionally cooked over a campfire. Here's a great showstopper for a meatless meal. Paella grilled over wood. I've fired up two kettle grills, but instead of charcoal, I've used oak logs. The first will be used for grilling my vegetables. The second for cooking the paella. Paella is simple to make. It only takes about a half an hour from start to finish, but you need to know about a few special ingredients. The first is saffron, the world's costliest spice, which comes from an aromatic crocus. The second is piquillo peppers. The third is pimenton, smoked paprika. And the fourth, of course, is the rice. The traditional Spanish rice is called a bomba. You can also use Italian arborea. Place the paella pan with a little olive oil on the grill and preheat the oil. People think of me as a cooking teacher. I've been called the barbecue guru or the gladiator of the grill. In fact, I see myself as a cultural anthropologist, and I see my job is taking, as taking my readers and my viewers around the world, discovering these incredible local traditional barbecue dishes all over Planet Barbecue. That is my mission. The next step is to make the sofrito, an aromatic mixture of onions, peppers, tomatoes, and garlic. So start by adding the onions, peppers, Okay, stir these ingredients together. Next, add the garlic and tomatoes. You add the garlic after a few minutes because it burns more quickly than the onions and peppers. Once the garlic has lost its rawness, add the tomatoes, saffron, and you see I soak the saffron in water to release its flavor and smoked paprika. You might ask, well, what's the purpose of cooking something in a pan over a wood fire? Well, in fact, you can see the smoke curling up right up over the edge of the paella pan. That's going to add plenty of flavor to the paella. Once the sofrito is fragrant and beginning to brown, add the bomba rice. Cook the rice until the grains are shiny. Then add dry white wine and vegetable stock. Give the rice a stir and let it cook. Meanwhile, I'll show you how to grill the vegetables. The vegetables for the paella are limited only to your imagination. The short list might include zucchini, yellow squash, eggplant, onion, mini bell peppers, tomatoes, and garlic. Note for the onion slices, I pin them with toothpicks. That will keep them from falling apart on the grill. Note on the garlic, I have skewered the garlic cloves as well. That keeps the individual cloves from falling through the bars of the grate. I've set up the grill in a configuration called a three-zone fire. Uh, a lot of wood on one side, that's my hot zone. A few embers in the middle, that's my medium zone. And a cool or safety zone where I can move the vegetables if they start to burn. So let's see, the onions take the longest. We'll put those on first. Followed by the squash, zucchini, eggplant, mini bell peppers, baby tomatoes, and baby onions. The precise recipe is much less important than what looks good and fresh. And for a little extra flavor while the vegetables are grilling, you can baste them with extra virgin olive oil and your favorite Mediterranean herb rub. Cooking time for the vegetables, about three to six minutes per side, just until each is golden brown. We live in uh, this incredible melting pot culture, and we have a gift 
we have a, a, a wonderful curiosity about the way people cook and eat in other countries. And we have this gift of bringing it and making it part of our own. So here are the grilled vegetables. Don't forget to remove all the skewers. You know, there is nothing like the high, dry heat of a grill to caramelize the plant sugars and bring out a vegetable's sweetness. Okay, let's finish the paella. So you can see the vegetable stock has been absorbed mm. and the rice is tender. The next step is simply to add the chickpeas, piquillo peppers, all of our grilled vegetables. And don't forget the parsley. Is there anything more beautiful than grilled vegetables? Paella on a wood-burning grill. It's enough to make a carnivore green with envy. Mm-hmm.